We catch up with Shona Davison. She's the senior Lamy at Longreach Aircraft Maintenance. And for a place like Longreach, where there's so much reliance on aviation, Shona is a busy woman. What's the main issues that you see in this part of the world? A lot of the aircraft that I work on are the workhorse, so they're used for aerial mustering and things like that. So they get a fair bit of wear and tear. When it rains, we get a lot of mud wasps in cooling systems, in, in your fins or on oil coolers, and also joining like trim cables, your elevator trim cable together. Okay. So you'll be sitting there trying to work your trim and it won't move, and it's because there's a mud wasps nest across the cables. And what about, I mean, how hot does it get out in Longreach? Oh, I can get up to 50 degrees in the 50 summer. 50 degrees. Oh, what does the heat and the sun, what, 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 what does that do to an aeroplane? Well, obviously, you, your sun on your, on your fuselage, your paint's going to deteriorate. If you haven't got sunshades, your dash is going to deteriorate. That cavern becomes a bloody hot box. You've got batteries or whatever lying in there, that they will explode and things melt. No, your aircraft dash, it's plastic. If you've got sunshades, put them on. When you're flying, you definitely know when it's hot and it gets a lot rougher. And you might consider changing your oil as well to a, a different viscosity to help with the cooling. Okay, and when, when a pilot brings a fixed wing into here, is it ever, Shona, you've got to do this, we've got to get out of here tomorrow morning, all last minute sort of stuff, I'm sure you don't enjoy. <laughs> you do get pressures from owners wanting the aircraft back as soon as possible, because none of them are local to Longreach, so they've got to pay accommodation. Mm. And we, we try and endeavour to make sure the plane's in and out in in an acceptable time frame. So uh, overall, what would be your main message, I guess, to pilots to make your job a little bit easier, just from your experience and what you've seen that happens to aircraft, what would be your message to them? Don't treat it like the work Toyota. <laughs> yeah, right. It, it is, well, when you, when you think an aircraft, you, you're looking at over $100,000. At the end of the day, it's, it's your life. You can't pull over on the side of the road if there's a hiccup. Now, we endeavour to try and get everything done as quickly as we can and within our capabilities. But there are times where weather's out of our control or freight's out of our control. Yeah, and don't tinker within yeah. Schedule 5. Yes, stick with what you're <laughs> allowed to do. Well, I think a visit to Longreach in Central West Queensland is an absolute must. Put it on your bucket list. In fact, I think it's a rite of passage for any Australian. What you find out at the Qantas Founders Museum about the history and the innovation of the aircraft and the guts of those early aviation pioneers, and it really is an extraordinary thing to come out here and check all of that out. Now, speaking of guts and inspiration, imagine getting into an aircraft without an engine because that's exactly what we're about to do at Lake Keeper.